where we're about to find out what was going on because this was a, a good opening game for you, Dupree. And I want to just touch on the thing that comes down to that veto to start off with because they had a choice of maybe replaying you again on Mirage, you know, seeing what they could do this time around or coming on to Vertigo. You kind of expected this? I think the first thing was that we, we thought that we maybe want to play Mirage again because last time maybe they weren't as prepared and the major and like there was a lot of things going on and it was the first game with the, with the old the, the old team coming to, to coming together. Um, so it was either for Mirage, but then we also expect them to probably play Inferno or Vertigo. So I mean, we were kind of prepared for whatever they would pick. And okay, got a little bit close towards the end, but you closed out, you got the win over the line. But for a game like this, you just mentioned it, right? The first time you clashed against each other, you wanted to get that win, you get a second one here. Do you feel like this is like a good feeling off the back for you know, we've made the right decision? Yeah, I mean, of course, it's, I guess it's, uh, that's what the first game really was about, that we wanted to prove that, uh, that we made the right decision and they felt like we did the wrong one. Um, but in hindsight, I mean, it was, it was the major and with the history we have, it was just really special. And I guess the first game against your, your, your old teammates will always be a little bit special. So in, in that sense, it was a lot more than just things on the server happening. There was also a lot of mental battle and stuff like that. Yeah, but it was, it was great playing that game, but obviously coming here and winning again uh, just kind of proves that, uh, that it, was a, it was a good result and that, that we are meant to be here, so that's good. And talking about your tea size, it certainly looked like you guys had just a good understanding of what Glaive was trying to throw you, you guys and you were able to handle it very well. How much of that comes from just yourself, Zonic, Magis's understanding of it? Has much changed? Do you, can you get a good read on it and help Apex out in that sense? I think it's both yes and no. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Astralis has changed a lot of things. They've changed roles and positions, and obviously they also have new players. Um, so I think they have another approach to get to, uh, to to the map in general, and also the game plan for the team. But obviously there will always be there will always be like tells from 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 one in-game leader to another that this is how he likes to approach the game. So in that sense, I, we I at least try not to focus too much on it because if I start thinking the way that Glaive probably wanted to call or whatever or how Sipex wanted to play, I, it could just interfere with my game plan. So I'm just trying to to, to go up from what I see and then just take it from there. But uh, yeah, it's always a little bit of a mind game when you play against your old teammates. But yeah. And in terms of that game plan, right, looking at you as an individual, we spoke about it before on the, on the major, it wasn't exactly your best major performance ever. This time around, you come to this game looking pretty good. Much changed for you? How are you feeling individually? Nothing really changed. I mean, uh, looking back at the major, yeah, it was a really poor result for me, and I, I felt really bad about it, especially with the history and that I, you always want to prove that you're playing good at the major. And what was most important for me is that I, I when I looked back at the major and coming into the major and the preparation and everything, I was I was kind of true to myself. You know, I've done everything that I that I usually do, the mental preparation, and I played a lot and everything, but nothing just really seemed to work for me. And I don't know if it was the pressure or whatever that happened, but something just didn't work for me. And I... I had a lot of thought coming into to this tournament, being afraid that, oh, what if it's going to be like the same and what if you're going to get a bad start? But I really tried not to focus too much on it because Counter-Strike by now is, is a, like, it's a really big mental challenge for, for a lot of players. Uh, and I think the worst thing I could do was to start overthinking and, and trying to find the key to success. Like, how do I become this player that I know I want to be? I just try to just be a little bit more myself and just not, it sounds weird, but not care too much. Yeah. Take the pressure off yourself yeah. for sure. And just looking at that, right, you had the major, it wasn't the result you guys wanted. How far away do you feel you are now from like being to the level of where you guys want to be? Because we see some good signs, we start to get excited, and then obviously the major hit a lot of people who are fans of Vitalik to be that disappointment. So do you feel like this is going to be the changing event? I really hope so. I mean, we've, uh, after EPL, we had a really good talk about like how we want to approach the game. And I think we, Maybe started a little bit too advanced in terms of uh, being in, this is a new project and everyone in the team is obviously talking English and it was just like too much for us to handle in the beginning. So we tried to take a, a step back and realize what are we able, what are we capable to do right now? And that's what we've done. And I think we've found the right path and the right direction that we want to go in. And right now it feels like, sure, we, we still make mistakes and we will also lose because of mistakes. But back in the days, it felt like whenever we faced a team that was playing really well, we had a really hard time. Whereas it, it feels a little bit more like when we play now, we can still beat everyone, we still play good. Like, it feels like we are losing because the other teams can be playing well, but not because we lose to ourselves, like making mistakes or having poor communication and stuff like that. All right, well, Dupree, thank you very much for all of that, and we'll, we'll see you coming into the next games. Let's get us back to the desk. Yep, that is the plan. Thank you very much.